Hi, I'm Chris Rasmussen of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and the Federal Challenge Manager for the Living Stories Challenge. I wanted to briefly step through the background of this challenge and show a couple of exemplars because uh, it's easier to see this than to read it and it'll be more clear of what we're going after. Uh, the idea behind this is we want to take the distributed version control or the version control uh, as, as a kind of behind the scenes function and turn it into a more uh, front page facing, easy to use, customer facing service. So let me give you an example of that. Take a look at uh, Wikipedia, which is built on MediaWiki software. If you want to see the changes behind the scenes of the store, you need to go into the, into the edit history and then click on these radio buttons and compare selected versions. So let's go ahead and click that, hit compare selected revision, and you can see the changes to the story. Fairly easy to use, uh, fairly clear, uh, but it's behind the scenes, and we want to be able to take this kind of behind the scenes and move it forward uh, on a kind of more front page service to track a living story. Another example within the software world, uh, let's take a look at GitHub, uh, how open source software is developed in Git uh, through distributed version control, uh, operates on similar principles. Let's just go into the, uh, the readme file. If you wanted to see the evolution of this, you needed to click on the history tab, and it will give you kind of a history. And if you hit compare selected, you'll see color coding what was taken or added away. Uh, so once again, it's kind of behind the scenes. So how do we take this behind the scenes and move it forward uh, so users can very easily track a living story. And now this problem is not necessarily inherently unique to NJ or the intelligence community. In fact, anyone that is writing stories or content will always run into the challenge of the balance between uh, ephemeral content and evergreen content. Uh, so ephemeral content, of course, is short-lived, uh, the, the quick updates to the story, and the evergreen content is kind of more of the stock stuff, the key players, the background information. Uh, so there's been a couple of um, attempts at this uh, to do this. And Vox, for example, uh, try to offload more of the uh, evergreen content or the explainer content in these things called card stacks. And you, and you can see these throughout their stories. And what they are is they're very slick ways to offload kind of the explainers behind a story. So they can offload this uh, to one part of the story and then focus on the ever-evolving updates, which is, which is pretty cool. Another Vox property is called SB Nation, and this is a more sports-centered piece. As you can see off to the left-hand side, as, they can, as updates come into the store, you can see how they parse them out through this, uh, uh, this toggle slider, important updates and articles. This handles things more at the article level. What we're looking for is something a little more granular at the even sentence level to how to track that in a very, very friendly, um, easy-to-use way. Uh, so what we had one of our developers do is to go into WordPress because it's open source and try to take the behind the scenes functions and make it a time slider on, on, the, on the front page. So you can see here, I just took the uh, Apache 2.0 license, nothing too exciting, and I want to kind of step through of how this works. So you can see there was eight revisions to this story. If you click on revision seven, you can see that something was taken away down there, moves it all the way down to the bottom. But see, here's the problem. It had to go all the way to the bottom, and to get back up to jumping down to the next revision, you have to scroll back up because it's trying to center the page. Let's go to revision six. Okay, a little tiny piece was added. Once again, we have to scroll down to revision five, and that takes it away. Let's go ahead and reverse that from five to six, and this will be green of what's being added. Okay, it's working fairly well. Let's go from six to seven. That was added up there. So it works fairly well. Here's the problem. Uh, when you step through uh, multiple revisions, it kind of freaks out and doesn't know what to do. So let's jump down from 7 to 5. See how it kind of freaks out? And we can step back from 5 to 7. So what it's trying to do is trying to center itself, but since there's edits from top and bottom, it's kind of bouncing around. The challenge uh, that we're putting forward is we like you to slow this down to fix the slider, or to come up with a new way for end users uh, in, a, in a front page way rather than a behind the scenes way to be able to track us a living story. And why would we want to do this? We want to do this because over time we can just update the body of the story and our customers will just come to expect the body of the story to always be up to date rather than us push, uh, pushing out more catchy headlines and catchy headlines. Um, so if there's a way to slow this down uh, or to make it more manageable, that's what we're doing. 
where the bulk of this challenge will take place with, is within um, our GitHub repository. So uh, NGA has open sourced several million dollars uh, in software to our corporate um, GitHub handle uh, over the last several years. And this is the, uh, the repo that you'll be uh, looking at. Uh, so it's here in GitHub. Um, so you will fork this repository and the changes back to this story will be what will be judged in the contest. Now we know this will be hard. Uh, that's why we've put a, a fairly a decent price tag on this of $10,000 to do. Uh, this is not a, a unique challenge to us. I think that a, a novel approach here will benefit many people uh, to uh, track living stories in, in a more uh, friendly, um, front-facing way rather than a kind of radio button behind the scenes type of function. Uh, so we look forward to your contributions and uh, please submit them and I hope we can all uh, work on this together. Thank you.